This is example three. Um, so now that you kind of understand what a confidence interval is, we're going to interpret a confidence interval. So probably on my labs plus when they get to this, it's going to be multiple choice and you just have to make sure that you choose the right one. So here's our problem. When the Gallup organization conducted a poll, that poll introduced in example one, which I actually didn't end up doing, but you can go back and read it. It's super easy. 54.9% of those surveys considered the amount of federal income tax that they have to pay to be fair. Gallup reported its survey methodology as follows. Results are based on televues, televue, really, telephone interviews with a random sample of 1,016 national adults age 18 and older. For results based on the total sample of national adults, one can say with 95% confidence that the maximum margin of sampling error is four percentage points. Determine and in and interpret the confidence interval for the proportion of Americans aged 18 and older who believe the amount of federal income tax that they have to pay is fair. All right, so what they're saying is they, they have a 90, with 95% confidence, they are saying that, that they believe that any samples that they take would lie between within four percentage points of the 54.9. So that would be 54.9% plus 4%, so 58.9% and 54.9 minus 4%, so 50.9%. So they're saying, if this is my curve, that they're saying with 95% confidence, that the samples that they take would lie between 50.9% and 58.9% that, that believe that the tax that they pay is fair. So that would be um, your interpretation. So we are, so you would say, I am 90% confident or we are 90, sorry, 95% confident that the proportion of voter aged Americans who believe that the federal income tax that they have to pay is fair is between 50.9% and 58.9%. And that's it. That's your interpretation. That's all you gotta say. So that's all for that one.